So we're getting into the C. You've done the P. Now we're doing the C button. So cool, eh? You're in the big time now. Okay. There are some problems where order is important. So you know that's called a permutation. These include the choice of a president and a vice president because it makes a, a difference if Jennifer is a president and Adrian is a vice president or if Adrian is the president and, and Jennifer is the pres vice president, right? It makes a difference, right? Rearranging letters of a word, hosting sing signal flags, different orders of signal flags mean something different, lining up books on a shelf. There are other problems where order is not important, such as selecting people for a committee. When people are on a committee, we only care that they're on the committee. We don't care what order they sit at the table. It just isn't important. Determining where order is important is a critical issue now. Typo. Now. It determines whether we treat the question as a permutation or a combination. So now that maybe the, the, the hardest, one of the challenging things on a test is you have to decide whether order is important or whether order is not important. So basically when you choose, it, you know it's combination. When you arrange, or if order is, imp you know, you see order, well, how many orders does this have? Then you know which, when to pick each one. The number of permutations of n objects of which a are alike, another b are alike. Do you remember this formula when you have some alike objects? All right. This is arrangements when some uh, objects are alike. That's that old formula, arrangements when some objects are alike. Okay. When objects are alike, their order is irrelevant, right? So if three letters are identical in a situation, the solution requires we divide by three because their order is irrelevant. Who cares if that A goes before that, if that one goes there, or if that one goes there. And it, it doesn't matter. It's still A, A. Order is irrelevant, right? So whenever order is irrelevant, we divide by three factorial, two factorial, whatever it may be. Do you remember the question, how many ways can the letters of the word section be arranged if the consonants must always be in the same order? Well, if the consonants have to be in the same order, their order is irrelevant. So that's why we would just go seven letters divided by one, two, three, four consonants and we divided that out because in that case the order of S C T N was irrelevant because it always S always had to be before C, it always had to be before T and before N and and whatever. S C it always had to be in the same order. Now in this formula, the permutation formula, this involves selecting R items out of N elements, right? At R arrangement of N elements. The number of arrangements is, the number of elements not chosen is N minus R, right? Because we only might be doing 3 out of 5 or 2 out of 5. So if we're doing 2 out of 5, then the arrangement of 3 elements is not relevant. So again, we divide by this. We divide by the items not included because their order is irrelevant. Their order is, uh-oh, order is irrelevant. Spelling, order is irrelevant. Okay. 
So again, whenever order is irrelevant, we're dividing. Well, in the C formula, let's just take a note that one way to write C, you can write it like this. Uh, th and what's equivalent is C and comma R. Another one that's equivalent, this is all the same thing. It, these all mean the same thing. Sometimes I like this one. Sometimes I like this one. It's different. So what happens if both the order of items not chosen are irrelevant and the order of items chosen are irrelevant? We have a new formula. If we choose R things out of N things, we're dividing by the order of the things we chose as well as the order of the things we did not choose. So R equals number of elements elements not chosen n minus r equals number no I made a mistake r is number of elements chosen and n minus r is number of elements not chosen okay so Sometimes we say n choose r. I usually say n choose r. So no order is it no order is relevant in combinations. So let's just try a few. I just want to How many combinations of three letters are possible? List them. Okay. Well, let's let's list them. And then how many per how many ways are there of arranging them? I just want to make sure that you guys see what this is all about. Okay. So given the letters A, B, C, let's 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 list all the combinations. If we want to calculate the number of combinations. We have four elements, we're choosing three, and if you were to plug that in your calculator, you would get four. So there are four possible combinations. We have A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. Those are the different combinations of elements. So these are our combinations. Now let's list all the let's list all the permutations. So we'll have A B C we'll do an A B C column, list all those permutations, then A B D we'll list all of those, and then A C D and then B C D. And so in this case we are gonna have four P four P three and you would get 24. So each one has to have sixes. So this is going to be A, B, C, A, C, B, right? If it's a starting B, then we have A, C, and then we have C, A, and if it starts with the C, we're going to have A, B, and B, A. If it's this guy, we'll have A, D, B, if it starts with the D, we'll have AB. If it starts with the D, we'll have BA. If it starts with, uh, what did I not start with yet? A, we have a D, B, B. Uh oh, whiteout time. Where's, where's BIC when you need them? Okay, let me get this thing started because sometimes it. B. If it's B, we have A, D, and if it's B, we have D, A. So again, A, D, C, 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 D, D. Okay, so if C's gone, we have A, D, D, uh oh, D, A, and if D's gone, we have A, C, and C, A. 
And then similarly here, it's getting redundant and tiring, isn't it? CC. Okay, so D, don't worry, I won't make you do this on the test. If we have D is gone, we have B, C, C, B. If C is gone, we got B, D, D, B. Good. So just so you know the difference, we're getting into questions like this where order is not important. We just want to select the letters. If order is important, then you've got all these possibilities. A mathematics competition is held in which a team of three students writes for the school. How many different teams can be chosen if five students try out? So out of the five students, we're choosing three. Right? If we want to plug it into our calc if we want to plug it into the formula, you go five factorial over three factorial and five minus three factorial. No order is important here. So you got five times four times three times two times one over three times two times one and five minus three times two times one. S so we can divide that out. Yeah, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we have, and that's 10. If you plug it in, you can plug it in your calculator too. A gardener bought five geraniums, three rose bushes, four evergreen bushes from a garden that had 14 geraniums, 12 rose bushes, and only five evergreen bushes. How many choices does the gardener have? Okay, so assuming each each bush is different, right, otherwise it, the question doesn't make sense unless the tree, I mean if they're all identical, you know what I mean, there's, anyway, so out of, we, we're starting with fourteen geraniums, twelve rose bushes, and only five evergreen. So we're choosing out of the fourteen, we're choosing five geraniums. Out of the twelve rose bushes, we're choosing three, and out of the evergreen bushes, we're choosing four. Did someone have a question? I heard someone say something, but I, I was more focused on my question. That's 2,202,200. So find the number of four subsets of a set of 11 elements. Four subsets of, well, you have 11 things. You want to choose four things, so it's just 11 choose four. Just make sure you're used to your calculators. Some of these questions are redundant. How many dance committees of five students can be chosen in a school with 1,000 students? Well, 1,000 choose five, and that equals, oh my, 8.2. Two five zero two nine one two five times ten to the twelve. Huh? It's a very big number. How many dance committees of two boys and three girls can be formed in a school with four hundred and eighty boy well, four eighty choose two five twenty yeah, 2.67852614. I guess that's all, folks. Can I answer any questions? Huh?